shit. Oh shit. Hello. Thank you so much for the raid, Xy. Holy fuck. All right, let me just shout out Xy. One second, guys. This is this. Oh, I don't know. oh boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, this doesn't happen. I'm now panicking. Oh my gosh. I'm making waffles. Did I do it right? Did I do the shout out right? No. Fuck. Crap. Shout out. Oh my god. Okay. Xe, I swear. Alright, if anyone's here, uh follow Xe. I I I but it's not listening to me right now, but let's just do it. Um, shout out is given. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Maxi. Um, God, what do I say? My name is Lord Waffles. I'm a dumbass that plays a lot of fun games, mostly from my childhood. Um, I'm currently playing Mega Man Battle Network because, you know, I grew up with this. Um, and... I play some other stuff. If you like what you see, drop a follow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you had a great time. Oh, there's also a hot dill fall. <laughs> Apparently, I'm reaching dill status because I'm almost thirty. Um, so <laughs> yeah, if you like. He's very really knowledgeable about games and a dope ass dude. Thank you. Yeah. If you like Dilfs, like, I mean, Xe is like prime Dilf. Um, so if you like Dilfs, like Xe. <laughs> Just assume that was the case. Show me your passport. No. Then you can't go through. That's the rules. Here. Yes, you're a land Hikari. Thank you. Man, look. <laughs> I'll have to apply for my Dilf card? I don't think you have to apply. I think it's just like. It's just given, you know? How about Dills? <laughs> oh, Taco added uh, permitted terms. Oh, shit. Taco, are you here? Yo, are you chilling out, my guy, in the secret background? I appreciate that. <laughs> Surrounded by Dills is my dream. Forgive me. Get them bones a walking. Uh, why is the bug guy helping catch this dude? Like. I get handing him over to the authorities, lurking in the shadows. Well, I appreciate that. Hey, buddy, I hope, you, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Poor guy, yeah. Uh, come on, let's get back home and catch up with everyone. Let's right, tell everyone we're back. This is the arrival's lobby. Yes, it is. Hope you had a good flight. It almost got hijacked. Did you not fucking hear what happened? How about compensating me for my time and money and effort and, you know, trauma? No, none of that? Feel bad about raiding and running? There's a 90 degree room that needs carpeted? No, absolutely, my guy. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, I hope carpeting your friend's room, place, whole house goes well. Um, and yeah, thanks again so much. In Utopia, was it nice? Oh, I got abducted. It's a terrible time. Good luck, XC. <laughs> Thank you for riding with one. Just got back from Natopia. Welcome home. Anytime, dude. Like I said, always fantastic to see you. Happy to catch you. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, Natopia? I was just on Natopia in business just last year. I was. Ah, the view from the castle walls. What a day. Yeah, I bet all those fucking traps didn't go off while you were there, would they? Couple on a plane out of Natopia. What? You were on that plane? Really? Yeah. Oh, so if you want a custom shout out on my Discord when you stream, uh, I'm not sure what to, but I'm not sure what to put. Ooh. I mean, I'm in the process of like trying to make my own Discord so that way I, there are actual shout outs when I stream. Um, but I I might take you up on that offer. <laughs> Welcome home. Good to see you after such a long trip. Have you told your friends you're home? They were worried. Go tell them you're home, then come back to bed. You must be exhausted. Also, hey mom, just to let you know, I was on a plane that almost crashed. Do you care? 
Uh, love to blast you to my computer, you know they love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to all our friends and tell them about the plane crash we were missing. Welcome back, I almost were busy in Natopia. Nice going. You hear that I was almost on a plane that crashed? It's gonna be my whole personality now. You know how people get like one traumatic event and they make that their whole personality? Be like, yeah, but I was on a plane crash. That's it. Oh, but you know I was almost on a plane that crashed? It's crazy. It's like, oh yeah, that reminds me of the time I was on a plane and almost crashed. Stop trauma dumping. <laughs> I only know how. Bye, you're back already? How was your first trip overseas? Well, if you didn't know, I was almost on a plane that crashed. Service there is horrid. Yeah, I know. I almost crashed. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking. I highly recommend Yumland for your next trip. Okay. As long as the plane doesn't crash. Alright, let's go talk to Dex. He's gonna be like... Whoa, that's cool, but also fight Guts, man. Yar. So, on your return, I propose a battle between your Mega Man and Guts, man. Did I fucking call that? I fucking called it. Pretty sure I already beat him, too, but let's just... Ah. Nope. Fisted you first. I fisted you first. Oh, he can recover, right? Forgot about that. Well, I can recover too. Alright. Gutsman, you wanna come here? No. You wanna come here? Nope. You wanna come here? Nope. Still not. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Got him. What's my thoughts on this soundtrack? Oh, I got Gutsman version too. Cool. Uh, that was a bug. I just no way did I just lose. No, you did. Um, the soundtrack is very nostalgic for me, but it's also incredibly repetitive. And if I had not grown up listening to this, I feel like I would have ripped my hair out at this point. Like I can handle it, especially when you're like online. Like, yeah, I'll. I'll jack into this because it's just the same track over and over again. Like this one in particular. I'm fine with it now, but like even playing sometimes, even when I'm doing like off camera streaming, or like off camera grinding and everything like that, I literally take off my fucking headphones because it's, it's so repetitive. Um, so yeah, there are other games that I'm like, oh, the soundtrack's beautiful. Um, do I just go to sleep? Okay, yeah, just go to sleep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the soundtrack in this is good until it just keeps doing it over and over and over and over again. Um, yeah, so sorry about that if you don't like the soundtrack, but um, okay. So we're gonna end the day. Um, I'm actually just gonna get up for like two to three minutes and just stretch and uh, air out because this room gets very, very hot very quick, but I will be right back. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are all having fun. Stretch on camera? No, I'm not going to stretch on camera. <laughs> all right, I'm back, I'm back. All right. Okay, let us... Uh, I know I'm about to save you. Yeah. Ready for bed? Save? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see what the next, uh, you know, uh oh, bad things happen situation is. Including the hijacking gospels, vileness is increasing. Gotta find gospels HQ and eliminate them quickly. Dr. Akari, you gotta. You've been cooped up in this lab all this time. You need to take a break once in a while. Go. You're overdo it. You haven't seen land for a while, have you? Once this is over, I'll take some time off and relax. That's a good idea. Oh, and then they die. Earthquake. Is everything alright? Just surprised. We haven't had one for a while. Strange. They're controlled by our environmental system. Uh-oh. Someone's hacked our environmental system, probably. 
Large scale disasters in Yumland and Natopia. Floods in Yumland and intense UV rays in Natopia? How the. Okay. How the fuck does someone increase UV rays in. Okay. Disasters are getting worse. What the heck is going on? Last Earthscape was a big one. It's been ages since we had one. It surprised the heck out of me, too. Man, there's mail. It's from mail. <laughs> I wonder what it is. I was on the net when an earthquake happened. I couldn't get rolled back off the net, which I do. I lost all contact. I think she's in Yumland somewhere. Something ever happened to her, I will cry. Got it. Okay. Wait, calm down, Mega Man. Roll got Yost in Lumland, so... Alright, let's check out the net. Yeah, let's go. Also, you've got mail. Um, thank you for help resolve the recent... Oh, there you go. Free NAL pass. We'll take measures to prevent future hijackings. Uh, something called the TSA is gonna be... Oh, okay. Cheap viewers on... Buh, buh, buh. Okay. <laughs> They never get to post the, uh, the link. I want to know where there's cheap viewers. Blade's not being repaired at Den Airport. During this time, it'll only be displayed for visitors. We hope you'll grace us with your presence. Thank you for choosing an L. Got a free pass. Great. So now that's like our easy way to get back to, uh, Natopia and, ex and examine all the stuff over there. Um... I haven't had like an earthquake like that in years. Is Higby is open? No. Okay. Oh. Where is he inside? Maybe aftershocks. Uh, would the subway system be open after an earthquake? Like realistically, it wouldn't. Right? Metro line keeps running. Interesting. That's not accurate at all. <laughs> It would shut that shit down so fast. Um, just, yeah, I guess so. All right, we'll just go hop on the internet. Be prepared for the sound soundtrack, by the way. It's gonna be this entire time. Oh. Is it strong enough to break through this ice? Oh, I can't use my gates, I have to walk? Oh, that sucks. Wait. Fire appeared from broken. Oh, I see what's going on. Still, this sucks, I have to walk. I hate walking. That's actually not true, I walk every day. Especially in the summertime. I actually love walking. But in game, I hate. Fuck. What is this ice? It looks like it's emitting something very harmful. I have a feeling this should be removed right away. Somebody with scientific knowledge might know how, but I can't do it. Uh. Well, they know. You know what they say about yellow ice. Don't eat it. Is it gonna be like. Check the net around here. Lots of people trapped in ice? Jeez. Um, is it gonna be like I have to go talk to my dad first? Because they said someone with scientific knowledge. Is the game not gonna let me do anything until I talk to my dad? Because that's... that'll suck. Because I can smash the white ones. <laughs> Came out a little wrong. I can smash the white colored ice. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Tough bunnies. Okay, well. 
I guess they don't care if they're on ice. You can break this ice, so I have a favor to ask. I want to break as much as you can, because the waves emitted by the ice seem to have the power to freeze some programs. Please hurry before it's too late. Okay. It's strange. He said he'd be back as soon as he was done. Something happened in Koto Square. I'm never busy, but can you check? Sure. Like, I guess so. I don't know. So pink ice is also... There's... So we've come across blue, we've come across yellow, we've come across pink ice. There's white ice that we can smash. So a lot of people are missing, yeah. I think I have no choice but to, like, actually physically walk through this route. Can't get to Lectopia or Yonlan, what a mess. Let's find all... Yeah. So yeah, I think I have to go visit my dad and then he'll... ...be like, here's an icebreaker app for your... ...robot slave, son. Not convince me otherwise that that's what Mega Man is. Uh, I don't have the voice mask thing. Is Rivita back here? Shoes. Okay. This I can go fight Toad Man if I want to. This isn't saved. The earthquake. Ba -ba -ba. Might send tidal waves. Oh, yes, I found it. You can have it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Just a kid zipping back and forth. Special creators here. Okay. Why? But okay. What a Lucktopia. Officials are here, so we'll be alright. Uh, I know what to do is fight and figure it out. One second. I'm gonna save. Oh, fuck. I meant to hit yes. This is version 3. I don't think I fought against this version yet. Aha! Like, he's most annoying only because of the gate that he spawns when he's at, like, half health or some shit. There. This fucking thing. hate this thing so much. Oh boy, oh boy. Ow. Ah, fuck. Don't let it get you down, you're pretty good. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's just go talk to my dad, I guess. Because I don't think I'll be able to get through the ice. Now there's an earthquake of interest also back to it. Alright, went to check out the ice forming on the net. You should be back soon. It says something about needing a red something or other. Oh, God. Says, do not touch. Something natural disaster, something old. Pussy. Officials have their hands full. Says, let's look for rule in Yumland. I can't get to Yumland. So I don't know what the hell is going on. So dad left saying looking for a red thing. So 
here work. Do you know anything? Do you know anything? Because I'm not sure what the sequence of events was, because I couldn't progress. One second. One second. One second. I'm just gonna quickly, real quick, real, real look, 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 look at these flick. Give me a second. Give me one second. Wait, what? One second. Oh, am I supposed to go to the square? Is that what it is? I think that's what it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to go to the square. Fuck, oh, alright. I just did a lot of running around for nothing then. Great. Wait. One second. I'm actually, I, I'm actually stupid. Give me a second. I'm so glad. That. I'm like this. The square is right here. Literally right here. Okay. Something happened on the net? Yeah. Board's the best place to get newest info. Many boards here. Do you have anything for me? You don't. Do you have anything for me? Buy some unlockers. Am I supposed to go to the board to find out how to break the ice? No. Oh, ice. All the regular posters on this board, okay? Faint ice line, viruses. I broke open the white ice, there's virus inside, yep. Yeah. Strong virus, even if they're ice, they're scary, okay. It's not helpful. There's all this stuff. I'm talking about other boards to what? Net The Nets Den area has four unlit warp holes in one place. What is that? Uh where to connect some other cyber squares, you need the gate key item, but where are the... I have a couple of them. Uh... Here it is. Alright, it's just... Okay, none of this is actually helpful. Um... Does it just want me to use a gate key? Is that what it is? Warp gate here connects to the square, Kotobi, Kotobugi on land in Utopia, but it's locked to prevent malicious access. You need a gate key to warp it. Keys are strong and made by a key maker in Utopia. Okay. I mean, I have... Eight keys. Like this one is for... No. This is for Yum Land, okay. It's annoying what's wrong with the net. I don't know. I'm trying to find that out. I don't even know where roll is supposed to be. This is just. This is Yum Land, so. Uh, can't be open. Great. This is pink. I can't break the pink ice. What the fuck? Can't break the pink ice. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. This one's the most confusing one yet. Others has just been annoying in the sense of like, go here, do this, go here, do this, go here, do this. Now it's just like, go here. Yeah, 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 yeah I'll figure it out.
And it's like, I don't think I will. I don't think I will figure it out. This is back in den area, but I can't. Okay. I'm supposed to go this way? This is not the right way, though. This is to... Utopia, yeah. Same where I want to be. Yellow eyes. Unless this is where I want to be? In the net area, okay. Your boy's confused. Cover 50, great. Back to just saying we gotta find rule. So I thought going to my dad was the right move, and then they were like, Your dad left saying that there's something red. It's like, what? what? That, doesn't, that doesn't help me. I don't know what the fuck's red. There's blue ice and yellow ice and pink ice and none of it's goddamn helpful. I do feel like I am in the wrong spot, though. I will say that. Like, maybe this is not the right way to go. Then I should just try to go back to Yum Land. Oh boy. leads to the square. The square is the only place that has different music because apparently everyone's dead here. Um, at least it's different music though. I guess let's try to see what happens if we go to like the entrance. No. Yum land too. Yum heart. Oh, there's roll. Just behind pink ice. What the fuck, dude? It's 
So I found her, but I can't get to her. No matter what I do, it just says, fine roll, fine roll. This ice is annoying, what's wrong with the net? But none of that is actually, you know, helpful. Guys are if there's no open panel. Great. Okay. Give me give me a hot second. Give me like give me like a hot two seconds. Um Two seconds gone? Ah shit. Give me give me ah fuck. Oh god, oh, god damn. Um No, this is just... What? This literally... says... to go to my... the dad's office. I did that! I went to my dad's office. He wasn't there! You got food, by the way, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Congratulations. Should be back soon, you said something about you know, what What's my favorite food? Uh, oh. That's a great question. Um... Probably fried chicken. Probably fried chicken. Yeah. You seem pretty tired. <laughs> no, I'm not tired. I'm just confused with to what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. Um, fried chicken is delicious though? Yeah. No, no, for sure. Yeah, it's it sucks because I can't really have fried chicken. Like, I can, but like, it doesn't... It's not great for me, in the sense. Like, I got a little... Like, my little stomach's a little too sensitive for it. But, I love it. And I want to keep eating it. Um... You're allergic to a gym rat? No, I literally just have like, um... Like, I have food sensitivities. So... Um... There's certain food... Like... Like, I can have like... Chicken fingers. But for some reason, fried food is just like, it's a little too greasy for my stomach to handle properly, kind of deal. So, just doesn't like it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit, quick man. Oh. I did not see. And I hate quick man. The passion. Fuck, 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 fuck.
Okay, he's literally stuck in a spot. Get him. Get him. Get him. End him. I love fried chicken, but it makes my tummy hurt. Tell me you're 30 without telling me you're 30. <laughs> Hi, me. <laughs> so mean. I'm gonna fucking die. What food causes the most problems for me? Uh, probably bacon. As much as I love me a bacon. Oh, dairy. Yeah, no, dairy. Yeah, that's a good point. Dairy. The, the right answer is dairy. Uh, EFG. Okay, the right answer is dairy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna die and then I'm gonna scream. So grateful for my stomach right now. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. on your ability to eat cheese now. Because one day you could just wake up and it's gone. <laughs> That's true. One day you wake up and then you're like, you know, 30 years old. And then all of a sudden, just dairy no more. You love dairy? I mean, yeah, it's good. I'm not even kidding though, like, I developed my lactose intolerance when I was 18. The idea of being a DILF comfort me. <laughs> but a DILF without dairy though? What's a DILF without dairy? That's just an ill, you know? Because obviously the, the D stands for dairy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We have many people become lactose intolerance at the age. Yeah. Why does it happen? Do we know? I mean, I'm sure someone knows. I don't know. But you know, scientists get in the chat. You know, there's scientists here. Tell him. <laughs> Open up. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a paragraph. Uh, isn't the whole science thing the most animals... Uh, you think smart people are watching this? Fair. Um, oh wait, actually, no, haha, ha. I have, I had one doctor drop by. I had one person that was also like an actual doctor drop by and be like, I played this game when I was a kid, so ha. Uh, nostalgic old people drop by, um, that are smart. You got me. <laughs> There's a whole science thing that most animals are lactose intolerant as they reach adulthood because only babies drink. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Sounds right. I don't know if it is, but it sounds smart. <laughs> we, we award port points for making things up. Call him up, we need a doctor in the chat right now. <laughs> I 
mean, there's also just, you know, Dr. Google. I'm sure Dr. Google could answer that question. Almost 30, you're supposed to be all don't believe in the internet. Yeah. I mean, again, harsh, but fair. <laughs> you guys respectively. God, so annoying. Ah. Uh, how do I kill this guy? There we go. Just throwing shade? No, nah, that's... Throw it. Whip that shit. I got trapped in the ice all of a sudden. I was so scared I thought I'd never get out. Thank you so much. This is a present for you. Found it near here. Pretty, huh? Red Fragment. Oh, fuck's sake. That's what we needed, okay. We needed to get this one person freed from the ice, and then also talk to them. The game does nothing to tell you that, buddy. Um... So just post by a random Facebook page. Facebook with a question. Are you saying Facebook with a question mark because you don't know what Facebook is? Or... Because if you don't know what it is, don't learn about it. Facebook and the prime source of fake news on the internet. Do people use fa Facebook? Old people use Facebook. Or people that um, are like in groups that like all kind of, you know, support each other. Like there's a bunch of like, um, I'm just so young and petite and youth. <laughs> Wow. Brag much. You unfortunately still have Facebook. You use it for work. That's different. Not posting fucking status updates of your meals. Dad, trouble. Raw's gone missing on the net. Strange icy things have been falling. And my ice is probably caused. Checked out the net. Discovered something terrible. What do you mean something terrible? Natural disasters are covering all over the world. Each nation's environment is controlled by an environment system to prevent natural disasters. The ice is... Special virus that's frozen the net in the environment system. Was well, the official and have you were taking out the removal ops? It's just that dangerous of a virus. The ice is four forms: white, red, blue, and yellow. Special cure is required to remove the ice. The only cure to create is red cure. We need a sample of red ice virus to make it. Uh, I know I'm not youthful and petite. I am crumbling in age. <laughs> we're crumbling in age. Um, with this I can make red cure. Hold on a sec. Okay, got red cure. If you don't hurry, you remove all the ice on the net. Nature's nature's power has been suppressed by programs for decades. Will suddenly be unleashed, destroying the world. Maybe stop repressing nature, and you won't have this fucking issue. I'll go and fix the environment system. We'll be back. For I'll leave the ice viruses to you. Alien. Important duty to you, my 11-year-old son. Um, oh. Sorry. We we permitted the term DILF, but we did not permit the term MILF, so. Uh, you just need to all... Um, oh, you just need to call yourself a DILF or MILF and keep moving. Discrimination. <laughs> That's the first time someone's used the word MILF on here, so. I'll go see the environment system. Good luck, man. Bye bye, Dad. Ah, that's her, Yoki. I mean, do I just. I don't know where all the red fucking ice is, but. Roll was blocked by red ice, so we at least can get to roll. 
at the very least. Something will pop out and kill me. There she is. Ratty two, Ratatouille two. Oh, shit! They fast. Stop being on the middle square, I keep sliding past it. Stop. Oh, for fuck's sake. oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, schmoobin. Alright. I roll. Mega Man, did you come here to save me? Thanks, Mega Man. Now I can contact mail. You need to contact mail. You must be worried about me. That's not how you spell worried. There was a there was there was a Y and then an I in there. I I glossed over it very quickly, but I Fucking pause the video and go back. That's not how you spell word. Um, I'm fine now. Thanks to Mega Man and Lail. Man, uh, sorry to make you worry. I'll be home soon. All right then, Mega Man, land. Be careful. That seems different from usual. What's going on with the net? Gotta get some info now. Where can we get it? The message boards in the square, right? Right? That's that's where people go to get information. Message boards. Anything new? Can't reach my friends in Kotobuki. I wonder if something has to do with the viruses. Uh, you know what's going on? Makes chatting so much more interesting, don't you think? Ice appears in natural disasters. Uh, rumor that actually directly related. Whoa. There's no way for us normal people to figure out how. Reminds me. Someone told me about the undernet. Do you know it? There's an under square where nasty types gather. And get this, they even have a board room there too. Say if you know, post a keyword there. Da an abbey called Doc would appear in the under square. It makes cures for any kind of virus. There's a great information, great informant in the under square that says know the keyword, but. Well, I'm not sure anyone's going to check for themselves, so it could be a lie or some urban legend. Doc sounds spooky, I'd like to see him. But to call him, I'd need that keyword. I'd still need to go to the internet. It's hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, did you start streaming earlier today? Um, I started streaming, like, about two and a half hours ago. So, like, around, like, four-ish. PM for me, um, which is just about on track um, for when I stream, unless I actually have like you know work to do. <laughs> uh, promise you, be careful. I got a bad feeling. Perfect. That's what we were waiting for. Interesting. Okay. You gonna tattle on me? Alright. Um Box keyword we can get in the undersquare. Contact your boss right now. I other than the people that obviously know me from like real life. If someone were legitimately able to, like, track down who I am based on, like, whatever small amounts of information I've just, like, been putting out there, I'd actually kind of be impressed. Like, I know that's bad, and I know I'm inviting a lot of fucking 
uh, potential like chaos into my life by saying that, but like I'd, I'd legitimately be impressed if someone... Because I think I've done a pretty good job at not like... Like that one dude that can find locations from any pick? Yeah, exactly. You know, like... Like, it's, it's, it's terrifying, but it's also kind of impressive, you know? Like, don't do it. I'm saying, I, I, I'm i just gonna put that out there. Don't do it. Don't, like, stalk me and try to find out where I live or anything like that. But, like... You know. <laughs> I would do it if I cared more. Yeah, that's fair. It's about to be like, wow, I can't believe you don't care. But no, I don't want to be stopped, so no, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Because this will eventually bring us to the undersquare. I care in other ways. I love watching stream. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the that's the support we need. We got each other. Fair is fair. Yeah. And like I said, I, I am I am trying my best to actually put the effort in and make a Discord. So at some point, sometime. I might actually have a Discord where people will get notified that I'm live and can come and support me this way. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing in game for the past 30 minutes. If you mean running around and being a little bit lost, yes. That's like this game's MO. Is you run around, you're a little bit lost, and then you find where you are. So yet, yes, very much so. Oh. Basically, right now is I'm I'm running around, destroying all the sort of like pinky, ready red ice, um, that you see, and I'm on my way to find not somebody with a pat. Not somebody that knows the cure, but somebody with a password to the guy that then knows the cure for this ice. Destroying pink? I love destroying pink. <laughs> it's, it's the worst thing I've said. Bubble cross, nice. That's square up the slope. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What's down here? Then? Just shit. 300 bucks, great. <laughs> I support your corruption. <laughs> uh, I know you do. Uh, how long did it take me to finish the first game? 
I think it was about like uh, I think 17 hours was it like total but that also included the off-camera stuff that I did because sometimes I run around and I do stuff just like off-camera um, so I think all in all about 17 hours what are we at with this we're at like 13 with this one and I, and I know we're nearing the end of this game um, why do I play off camera? Some of it is just like, as much as you see me running around and just fighting these things, um, there's a lot of like, grinding. So to, uh, get certain of these like, these chips, these cards that I have, um, you just have to keep fighting enemy after enemy after enemy after enemy, and it can kind of add like a good solid like hour and a half, two hours to gameplay and it's also not very exciting. So like as much as this isn't exciting, this is at least part of the story. Um, it's not just like, oh I'm not doing the story at all and I'm just trying to like grind out this shit. Um, and just fighting the same sort of like boss over and over and over again hoping to get like uh, the thing I need from it. Um, so yeah, that's the stuff that I just do off camera. I don't do anything related to like <clears throat> the plot or anything like that. Like there's literally like no dialogue that happens off camera. Um, it's all just like literally me doing like this until I fight an enemy. <laughs> um, so yeah. And you have fun doing this? Yeah, for the most part. Um, oh, I don't have the yellow. Fuck. Um, like, there's again, there's an element to it that is very nostalgic. I played this game a lot. Or, I guess, I played this game a lot um, when I was growing up. So, like, they're not so, so different from each other that um, this is all, like, foreign to me. And... The type of games that I play in the first place are very similar um, to this where, you know, you have your main story, you have like your optional side quests and stuff like that, and then you just have the aspect of it which is just like, basically just like it's like, it's just called grinding. You just kind of like grind it out and everything like that, so. Um, yeah. Did I not already go through this? Oh my god, I just did a full circle. Are you fucking kidding me? I just did a full circle. Great. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm actually trying to progress the story. Why didn't they make more songs? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I don't know. I could be like, it's an older game, you know, but like, it's just, just, they, they very easily could have. <laughs> Hope you're not coming off as hateful or annoyed or anything? Oh, not at all. No, I, like I said, I completely get it. Uh, I didn't find any chips that I wanted. Boo hoo. Okay. okay, I didn't find any chips I wanted either. No, if I did not grow up with this soundtrack and like this music and everything like that, um, I don't know if I would have played this game. You know, like if this was like a modern game and the soundtrack was this repetitive, I would have fucking screamed. I would have been the first one being like, yo, developer, what the actual fuck, dude. Um, but, so no, I, I, I fully, I fully, fully get it. Um, I am also full on 
fucking lost at this point. And I feel like I'm going in circles. Is this the most important game of my childhood? That's a great question. The answer is no. Um... Oh, there's a lot of really important games out of my childhood. I'd say the biggest one... Oh, fuck. Um... God damn it, that's a really good question. Um... Biggest one would probably be... Like... Golden Sun. Um... Or the Paper Mario games. Um, Golden Sun was another Game Boy Advance game, very much like this one. Um, I have the cartridge still with me and everything like that. Um, and the Paper Mario series was for the Nintendo 64, so it was released in like 1990-something. Uh, <laughs> just again, I'm old. Um, Uh, but yeah, those two definitely uh, were like the most important games to me and everything like that. And then also um, Final Fantasy Tactics, which is a game that I played uh, earlier on stream and everything. I played that basically, I played Final Fantasy Tactics because I, I did I did a 100% run for that. Um, and I played that from, I think it was like January all the way to basically like middle of May, something like that. Are you going through all the Baby Waffles games? Yeah, a good majority of them. Yeah. Like, I still have the other stuff that I, um... Plays such as like like Wander Song, right? Like that's a new game for me. I have not, I've never played that one before. Um, the Crab game was a new one for me. I never played that one before. So there are new games that um, I'm trying out that I haven't in the past, but definitely in this realm and everything like that. Like I I spend time just going through nostalgic shit for myself. So. Subject you right now. This is the other guy. This guy. Are you still lost? I'm less lost now. <laughs> I have a more vague idea of uh, where I'm going. Oh my god, rat. Stop, rat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I have a better idea of where I'm going right now, at least. Uh, so go over here. And then there's an area kind of like, I think it's to the left, um, that has the thing that I'm looking for. Now, I would not be surprised if by the time I get to the thing that I'm looking for, if the game's like, you need to now go over here and do this other thing. Because um, that's, again, that's kind of how this game sort of operates, uh, especially this one. The other one... Like, the first game in the series that I played was, um, a lot less like this. Ow. Bastard. Bro. 
Bro, just die. Is the whole, oh my god, he keeps touching his hair thing, does that status, uh, also go for my mustache? Because I feel like my mustache just gets itchy. Uh, what's on the pillow behind me? There's actually two of them. Um, it's a little, like, um, it's just like a, like an Indian sort of, I guess, based design of uh, just somebody who's like reading the paper and the other one's kind of like watering plants and everything like that. Um, haven't seen your mustache as much as your hair but both have great jeans. <laughs> yeah I got a thick thick head of hair and I can thank my uh, my dad for that one. I am one person that I will never have to worry about uh, male pattern baldness, so I can be very thankful for that. He's really covered. Great. Alright, and then I think I just go up here, fight this fucking thing. Oh god. Don't think you can't thank him for it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna scale a bear pad and ball this. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, there are some people that, like. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Uh, there are some people that embrace baldness, like, really well. Um, and then there's others that, like,. Yeah, it doesn't look that great, but, you know, if you're going bald, just accept that, you know, some things are meant to happen, and... You want bald, you go for those alien diva looks? I, I don't know the look you're referring to. Have you ever been bald? I... I used to have a buzz cut. If that counts, that's about as close to being bald as I can... as I can get. Um... Is that I used to have like a very same... Very shaved kind of... head. Same thing? Okay, well there you go. Then yes. <laughs> For most of my uh, growing up life, I'd say actually... Um, was, I had a, like a, like a buzz cut that goes all right down to my head and everything like that. Why is that? Honestly, probably because my parents, um, just like having a buzz cut for a haircut is obviously a lot easier for your kid than being like, he wants this design or he wants to look like this. It was just like, ah, just fucking shave it. <laughs> But it wasn't like I... It wasn't like I disliked it, you know? Um... Can those guys get any closer we've had it? Hang on, what guys? Um... Yeah, it wasn't like I disliked it. Like, even when I was in university and everything, for the first couple of years, I still got a buzz cut. Because it's just so you kind of get used to it, right? Um, it was only until... Oh, I don't know, it was like... Oh old I was at that time but like it wasn't until I was much older 
that um, I was like, okay, yeah, I can have the uh, sort of grown out hair, as it were. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Shit. Bro, can you actually die though? Uh, buzz cuts are cool in a lot of people, but everyone here has them in a homophobic way. I don't know how to explain it. No, I kind of get what you mean. I kind of get what you mean. I know the kind of the, the vibe in the crowd you might be talking about there. Yeah. Um, you never grow out your hair anymore. Uh, sometimes I let it get kind of like real shaggy, but my partner doesn't super like it, and I I don't blame them whatsoever. Um, but I'm not gonna do that anytime soon because I have um, a lot of like weddings coming up um, in like the n near to uh, recent future. Um, so yeah, I have a friend's wedding this um, this weekend actually, and then. Uh, later on in July, my sister is getting married, so I want to keep my hair nice and short, try to trim my face and everything like that, just kind of, you know, all that. Uh, I may look like a bad guy, but I'm actually nice. Yeah, you are. Congrats to both, yeah! I'm looking forward to them. My parents think my sister's wedding, they're incredibly excited for it. Uh I've never seen my I've never seen my dad happier. <laughs> yeah. And my sister's fiance, like he's he's a he's a stand-up guy. I like him a lot, so. Um Yeah, I'm we're all very excited for it. Yeah. Yeah. my own bomb. Got it. Am I married? Nah. Nah. I'm not married and I don't plan on uh, being married. Me and my partner are just like, we're just chill. We don't need a label on it or anything. Oh, fuck. So much running around. I think I'm getting close to the spot. There you go. I'm in the undersquare. Okay. Some arrow. At least this area is new music. I didn't even clock that until just now. This area is new music. No place for a kid navy like you. Hey, have I seen you somewhere before? I don't know. Famous informant. They even know me in the internet. What's that? Keyword for call on the dock? I don't know the keyword, but I know someone who does. I'll sell you this for 10,000 cheap. So you buy it? No. Come back when you have the cash. Do I actually have to pay him? I'm just gonna walk around. Hospital is spreading its influence in the normal net. They can't do a thing alone. If I meet one alone, I'll give him... I'll give him my gospel. You know, all one, two. Ah! Qua! If you want to menace something, first you do is yell. Ah! Rah! I guess so. Secret info board. No ordinary people allowed. Okay. No problem with that. Post undernet info. Okay, I'm not bothering you anymore, of course. Clock. Hey kid, go back to the regular net unless you want to die. Okay. I'm a net dealer. Hi, net dealer. 20 grand? I don't have 20 fucking grand. I have 12. Does that count? Here. Take that. 16. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're definitely nearing the end game, as it were. 
You can tell just by how expensive shit- wait. Shit. I needed that 10 grand. One second. I saved, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I needed the 10 grand for the fucking informant, dude. Alright. Alright, here's your info. Navi knows the keyword is in, the, in that square, so I've heard. This purple Navi is pretty greedy. Wonder who's more greedy, me or that purple Navi? Motherfucker. You're joking, right? Literally, I have to go back to Net Square. Oh. It's quite literally. And then. Just running back and forth. Because. Now that I'm gonna be in Net Square, I'd then have to go all the way back to. the Undersquare. It's some bullshit. Uh, what's the plan after this game? Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Um, what's the plan after this game? The plan after this game, specifically, is to play the next game in the series. Um, the plan after playing Wander Song. Um, is like undecided. It might be a game or two that comes out between now and me finishing Wander Song, and then I'm like, "Ooh, that has my interest" or anything. But um, so I'm gonna have to mute you until the sixth game. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Pretty much. Okay. You know what? I'm actually gonna... This, all right. I'm gonna see if I can do this, because the best thing to do to get to these places is honestly just, like, going to the bots that have them close by. So, like, for the airport, I'm literally gonna go back to that other country. Country we're just in... Just so I can access the fucking boombox to then get to the other country. And I'm gonna ignore everybody else. So now I'm back in Utopia. Just like that. No plane jacking or anything like that happens. Oh, no one's even here. That was there, I guess. Alright. Do you play Pokemon and Super Mario as a kid? Yes and yes. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I've told you before, I'm like, I'm almost 30, so. <laughs> um, yeah. I didn't, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually play too, too much of, like, the first gen of Pokemon. Like, I played it. Um, but it was actually the second generation that... <laughs> Why is... We're allowing Dilf. That's an allowed term. Um... I don't know why it still blocks it, but I'll make sure to add it um, in like the actual specific words. Um, but uh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, um, the game I played the most out of the Pokemon, like as a kid, was actually uh, Pokemon Crystal, which is part of the second generation. That was the one that I still have my cartridge for. If you, if you don't, I'll, I'll literally have every every message blocked by Automod on here. <laughs> Fair. Can't see my mouse on. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Ew. Got it. Right. 
Cross bomb. Alright, then I go down here. Then I go over here. Then I go over here. And here. Then I go around. Uh, I never played Pokemon or Super Mario before, but my gay friend, I forgive him, <laughs> loves them, so he's always yapping about the games. Uh, who's your favorite Pokemon? Um, my favorite Pokemon's Magnemite. I love Magnemite. <laughs> I got the tattoo this year. Uh, I got the tattoo in February, actually. But yeah. Uh, I've always wanted a tattoo of Magnemite, and then I was like, this year's gonna be the year, and I went and I got it. It was great. It looks cool. Why is it my favorite? Um. Oh. This is good. Thank you. I don't know if I have like a good reason other than just like I don't know. I just think they're neat. <laughs> um, no, probably the real reason is that like so again, this kind of going back to um, Mar Jimson. Yeah, exactly. I just think they're neat. Um, I think uh, part of it has to do with like again me growing up playing the second generation more than the first one. Um, where in the second generation they introduced the steel type, which didn't exist before. And Magnemite, before this, was just an electric Pokemon, and then all of a sudden he was like electric and steel, so he was like, cool, and it makes sense, because he's a giant fucking, you know, magnet. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of always really liked it, I liked the vibe that Magnemites gave off in like the Pokemon anime. They always looked like so fun and cute and everything like that. So, yeah. Um. What's the prettiest Pokemon in my opinion? Um. Not sure. Hey, where is this purple Navi? It's in Net Square. Am I not in Net Square? I am. Uh, you only know Pikachu, Mewtwo, Ed, Charizard, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Um, yeah, that's fair. I mean. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Uh. Mewtwo is a very cool design to Pokemon, I'll say. Like, he has a very, very cool design. Um. To him. So. Yeah, in terms of, like, prettiest, though. I don't know, I don't really look at Pokemon and think like, oh, this one's pretty, this one's not. This is kind of like, again, they're just, I just think they're neat. the other music. <laughs> um, he said that his friend left to go buy something and that means I have to know where the fucking merchant is. What Pokemon would I be? I'd be a Magnemite. Easy answer. I'd be a Magnemite. I'd just sit and chill and hang out with other Magnemites 
and then if there was three of us, we could meet, become their um, evolved form, which is a Magnum Magneton, which is just three Magnemites all stuck together. It's great. It would be the perfect situation, in my opinion. Oh, that's a new one. Uh, magnet because you're a twink magnet. <laughs> I wish I was a twink magnet. Well, I think you would be Jinx. Um, why would I be Jinx? Gay terms getting blocked during Pride Month. Yeah, Automod is like, I think. Why not? Fair. Um. <laughs> I think the unfortunate part with like auto mod being this like kind of hypersensitive is not because it's like ah you know these terms are bad but it's because people have been using them in such negative connotations that's now just associated with bullying um because that's what happens every time it blocks it it says like oh it's blocked because of like, and the reason it gives is like, oh, it's bullying. It's like, I, I get that, you know, like, it wants to make sure that, you know, you guys aren't fucking bullying me <laughs> on stream. Which, again, makes sense. Yeah, but for sure, Cheeks touches his hair all the time. I can't stop. <laughs> Do we bully you? I'm currently being bullied about my hair. So, yes. You deserve that. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. It's justified. I'm just saying. Still bullying. Oh my god. Please just die. Please just die. Please just die. I definitely did get lost, by the way. Just in case everyone's like, did he get lost again? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. For sure. Not denying it. I have to go find a dude at a merchant, and I don't know where that dude at that merchant is. in a completely different section in the first place. Oh, sorry. Man. Never mind, I have to go this way. Okay. Cool. So as you guys are still awake, considering that one of you's in France and one of you's in the Balkans. I mean, I... Yeah, I appreciate it, but also, if you have to sleep, sleep. Okay, uh, is that this? No, that's the warp entrance. This is the. That's the square entrance. So I actually want to be back here. 
There he is. He's over there. Fucking Christ. Okay. I need to get to him. Ten thousand. All right. Well, that's my bribe money back. <laughs> Sleep out and miss on you touching your hair as I touch my hair when I read that message? Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Alright, I'm gonna try my best. For the next five minutes, I'm not gonna touch my hair. Start the clock. <laughs> uh, it's 7:18 right now where I am, so until 7:23. Oh fuck! Uh, guts leveled up. Nice. Until 7:23, I won't touch my hair. I, or rather, I will try my best to not touch my hair. I should say. Wait, fuck! No, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I have to go up this way, don't I? Not the purple guy. Here's the purple guy. Spread. Alright. Heal up. Airman. Kill these guys. It's only been one minute. Fuck me. <laughs> oh god. It's only been a minute. Shit. Okay. Alright. I think it's over here. Motherfucker, please have my code. Keyword. Can tell you, but it won't be free. Give me your zap ring to. Sure. Won't say it twice. Keyword is. Triple W. Oh, what? 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 Oh, boy. It's the Triple W. It's the oh no, guys. The bad boys. Wow. For context, the Triple W is the criminal organization that you fought in the uh, last game that you kind of took down as a 10 year old child somehow. That's why it's like, dun dun dun, kind of deal. Now I have to make my way all the way back. I can do this. I can do this. We can do this. Have I ever taken down a corporation? Uh, no. In fact, I've sold my soul to work at a corporation. <laughs> I'm... I'm... Yeah. I wish. But, alas. Maybe the one you work for? I mean, like, I'm taking them down in the sense that I, I'm not working sometimes when I say I am. <laughs> Does that count? I'm streaming when I should be working. Uh, so if that counts as taking them down, then yeah. Power to the people. 
Listen, they exploit me for labor, I exploit them for, you know, wages, so... It's a give and take, you know? You can provide entry to me the lower class. I almost touched my hair. Oh, fuck off. Uh... I saw my hand going for it. It's not- it's not time yet. Almost got got. Alright, 723. I'm legally allowed to touch my hair again. I did it. I resisted for five minutes. I even caught myself. I hope you're proud. Congrats, thank you. <laughs> it was a lot more difficult than I thought it'd be, not gonna lie. Almost there. Almost back at the spot, because now we have the code from the guy to the other guy to the other guy to the third guy. Now we all have to do is go back to the spot and then put that code in and get more money as we do it. And keep saving our game in case we die and have to undo a lot of our progress, because that'll happen. Uh, dude, kill. <laughs> I make sure I'm not slouching. All of this is just to destroy the ice. Like I want, I want to make sure we remind ourselves what we're doing here. All we're doing right now is trying to find a dude to destroy the ice. This is how long this is taking. Actually, sorry, let me be specific. We're not even finding a dude to destroy the ice, like, for us. We're finding someone to give me the ability to go and destroy the ice. That is very specifically what we're doing. It's not even like, oh, we just call this person, and they're like, I'll take care of it, and then destroy it for us. Nah. Not that shit. Try to push me. Just try to push me. Oh? What's this? Style change? Must be. What style? Looks like a new style developed. Evolved what? Electric team style. Electric team style. It's a Navi style evolved for using Navi chips. A Navi with this style allows eight Navi chips in the folder. Charge shots will turn into zap rings. Careful though, you take twice as much damage from wood. Cool! Bursting with energy. You can always pick up Mega Man. Eh. Got a new style. Okay, cool.
So now I have Elect Team. And Elect Team does what? So it's just regular attack, regular charge, all that kind of stuff. But I can have more Navi chips? I mean, cool, I guess. Uh, who's my favorite? Sorry, I only saw that now. Who's my favorite hero? Um, in relation to what? Like, superhero in this game? What are we talking? in general um I mean I gotta go with my gut I'm just gonna say Wolverine um I had a lot of Wolverine comics growing up so yeah we'll see him fake weird oh no What's the right answer? Right answer is Lady <laughs> Shit, you got me. I told you this whole thing's just been queer bait. Who got me Wolverine comics? Probably my parents. I, I would assume. Just kind of had him. All right, so now I gotta go all the way over here. Fucking Christ! I swear to God, this is it's not even gonna be the end of it. It's gonna be like, all right. Just on the underboard. Am I going to be able to tell who the guy is from all the other ones? There you go. Tomik, what's that, Akira? You like an Evie? What an Evie like you do with a playing doctor? What, to break the ice? Sounds fun. Since you reached me, you must be kind of tough. Have a cure, but I want all the power-ups and battle trips you got equipped in exchange. No? Alright, no cure. Fuck, oh, alright. You're brave, I like y'all, like, make your care over here. Take this back with interest. Anti-recovery day. Okay, cool. Looking to ask myself. Frag and heat data. Got myself a yellow frag here. If I had a heat data, I could make you a cure. Got a heat data? Yeah. If you don't got it, then go strutting around. Some flame-making program, go get it for me. It's like a fire program. What, like my oven? Uh, did I watch the X-Men movies? I did indeed, yeah. Um, yeah. I like the X-Men movies. I mean, again, objectively they were terrible. Um, but I did, I did enjoy them, so. So... Uh, This is gonna drive me crazy. I have to log out. So I have to log out. I have to go get heat data from a fire program. And I'm trying to think what? Like fucking I 
I saw a fireman's operator earlier. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is talk to him? Like, if I go over here... Kitty genius and... <laughs> Again, any sort of super bad thing. My favorites were Kitty, Genie, Mystique, and yes, I'm a... <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not gonna say the word, but I know what you were saying. Um... Uh... For your faves... Um... Of those movies... Uh... They made Cyclops into such a bitch, I hated him. Um, I liked Wolverine, Nightcrawler was um, Nightcrawler was a bop. Um, Iceman was pretty cool. Try to think of that era. Who else was there? Um, and Rogue was just kind of like... Rogue was like, edgy, you know? You are so mask. <laughs> oh, I love Rogue though, yeah. Uh, I recognize you, don't tell me to figure out what it looked like. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that time. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm on the right side of things now, really, I am. How about having that that battle with my maybe have you? Heat Man? Accept this person's challenge. If you don't mix up Heat Man and Fireman, you'll get burned. Okay. But do you have Heat Data? Is that, that's what I'm looking for. Or is this just like a completely optional fight? Oh, you know what? I'm fighting someone named Heatman with uh, wood armor. That's probably not smart, eh? Wait, why am I green now? I've always been green. The whole time I've been green. Except when I'm on the like the the battle stage, but like this Mega Man's always been green. When I'm fighting. Ow. Weren't you blue? I'm blue when I'm running around. When I'm fighting someone, I'm green. Oh, fuck. Or when I die. Okay. Can't tell if this is supposed to be, but... Let me just switch off of... Yeah, that way so I'm just not taking like double damage. And you suck me real quick, please. <laughs> so harsh. Alright. Good news is I figured out if he just stays if you don't go to attack, then he kinda stays in one spot, so. Then I can fuck them up. Got him. Uh, my favorite character design. I like the character design of Mega Man in the later games. Um, in these 
first ones, he seems very childish. In the later ones, he actually seems more, um, kind of mature. He looks a little bit edgier. He has, like, dark side to him and everything like that, so, yeah. Later, later, later versions of Mega Man I like. HP memory. Okay, well, that was great, but I didn't get anything for it. Um, I was thinking Fireman had, you know, heat data or something like that. No. Shit, okay, well... Fucking... That one doesn't count? The fuck is... Okay. One second. I'm just... I'm, instead of just running around, fucking head off. Um... So where is God? I'm just gonna control F this shit. Eat. Oh, there it is. Heat data. Oh my god, it's the fucking stove in the valley. Holy shit, how am I supposed to remember that? Oh my god, alright. Uh, if I was worn my glasses, yes. The amount of misstelling I should do is <laughs> to be punishable by law. Nah, you're fine. How is anyone supposed to figure this out on their own? Like, I have a guide helping me when I get stuck, because I don't feel like, uh, as much as I'm getting lost, as when I give up, I will do it. But like, if you don't have this shit, how the fuck are you supposed to know? Where the fuck is he? What? He's selling that will? Aaron to do in Yumland, he still isn't. You figure out other games on your own, use a guide for everything? It all depends. It all depends. Like Wander Song, I haven't used a guide because I'm like, it's just. Um. It seems. Straightforward enough. If I miss things, then I miss things. Um, if I'm going for like 100% achievement or anything like that, then I'll use a guide um, to help me get the things that I haven't gotten. Uh, but yeah, pro gamer. <laughs> All right. All right. This is like 20 times the amount of running around that I had to do in the first game just to get to like the next section where the final boss is and everything like that. Or the next boss is. Doesn't even know. I don't even know if it's the final boss. So if I'm going to be really honest, I don't want to keep doing this right now. <laughs> I'm going to take a like a break. Um, I'm probably going to stop streaming for today, but... I'll be back on... I'll probably be playing uh, Wander Song tomorrow, but then I'll be back playing this on Thursday. Um, and at that point, I will have gathered all the fucking shit that I need, and then 
we can actually get into the next proper area. Because this is so much just literally go here, go there, go here, go there, go here, go there, go here to go back to there, go here and then go back, and then here and go back. And it's just like, I, I'm driving myself crazy. So, um, but yeah, thank you so much for everybody that dropped by. Thank you to everybody that raided and everything like that uh, with XE. Um, I upload all this shit to YouTube. Find me on YouTube. Subscribe if you want. Uh, unsubscribe if you want. Whatever works, it's all the same. And, um, yeah. 